What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. I actually just want to take this minute to do this quick little video to teach you guys what's going on right now in Mario 3 and some of the future videos that I'm going to be uploading. So you guys are going to see me upload a brand new tournament that's never been done before for any retro game. And it's something that I created funding it. This is a way to win money. It's a cash prize. First place, 500 bucks. This is probably what the title is going to say. It's going to be like cash prize, how to win 500 bucks playing Super Mario Bros. 3. So some of you guys are probably really curious. You guys trust me. Here are the runners that are in the tournament right now. The first bracket is actually already done and I'm about ready to upload the videos to YouTube. Second bracket is happening, but it is the SMB3 Warpless Point System Tournament, okay? Essentially what it is, is it's a Warpless race where these two runners, they run up against each other with time, but time is not the most important thing. The points are the most important thing. Well, how do you generate points? Right here, this little tracker right here, okay? So I'm gonna go through a couple of the points here and kind of teach you guys just so you can get an idea and maybe maybe you guys will be interested in something like this. Also, there's gonna be multiple seasons. So if you guys are interested in participating, let me remind you, all you need to do is get under one hour in Warpless and you qualify, that's it. There's gonna be multiple seasons, multiple cash prizes. I won't be in any of these tournaments. I'm creating them and hosting them. I'm gonna be doing comms for all of them. I'm gonna be providing the option for all of these runners to do this. We can never have too many runners, so if this is what you're interested. The one thing that I think is most enticing about this is that because of the points, it's not fully about time. I've always disliked competing in speedrunning with retro games because the top five runners on the leaderboard are always gonna win every tournament. I don't care how you slice it, you guys can argue with me in the comments, do it all you want, but that's just, that's just how the bread is sliced, always, right? If I'm in a warpless tournament and I'm competing, I'm gonna get top three. Unless I get really bad RNG, but I'm still gonna get top three because I'm very consistent and I'm very good, right? So if you guys know I'm in a warpless tournament, it's like, nah, I don't wanna be a part of it. And I'm not bragging. I'm trying to encourage more people to get involved. And sometimes money is a good incentive, but also knowing that the world's best isn't gonna be in it. If you get the MFP tunnel in world one in your race, you get 0.5, boom. If you don't use any inventory stars, boom, you got 0.5. If you didn't die, you get rewarded with one point. So just do a run without dying, you got a point. If you're against the best player and they die and you don't die, you have a one point lead on them, okay? World two, level two, if you get into the pipe with a 292, boom, half point. I do half points because this is brand new. I'm still working it in. Uh, I'm gonna do a season every like seven or eight months with cash prize. And I'm gonna work my way up from there. I'm probably gonna change all the point point fives to like ones and I'm taking in a lot of advice and a lot of people are really interested in this we're hosting this on speed gaming a lot of people love it anyways let's get back to a couple more points uh if you do the fire kill on the boss in world two and you get a 221 on your timer boom 0.5 if you get that single frame jump in 3-1 that nobody's consistent with it's hard but if you get it there you go 0.1 all right so there's a bunch of other ones I'm not going to go fully into them if you die you lose your no death reward and minus a point you hate to see it. If you get a fanfare, three of the same cards, you lose 0.5. If you activate a coin ship, sorry bud, it's over. Also, here's one of the best parts. Do you ever hate watching a race and it's like someone really good versus someone not so good, but in the courteous of the race, they let the person who's not so good finish the race? I don't do that in my tournament. If you get over one hour, you lose one point and your run stops right there. As soon as you hit the one hour mark, it's over. So you try and collect as many points as you can but then once the run, that's it, it's over. And that's so that we can monitor the time uh, very well that way and be like, all right, we have three races tonight, so we know it's not gonna go over three hours or six hours if there's, because there's two, two races each, right? If you get wall jump first try, boom, that's 0.5. Uh, if you get 7-1 first try, boom, that's 0.5. If you get no movements of four in world five, you're awarded a point, RNG point, right? Gotta make it fair for everyone. We gotta make it fair and exciting and always changing. And in the future seasons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the points. They're not always going to be the same. So they're, so the meta will always be changing. The, people have tons of new routes that follow along with the, uh, with the points here. Very exciting, dude. If you get first place, boom, you get two points. So here's how it works. If you get under 60 minutes, but over 54, boom, you get some points. But if you get under 54, but over 52, boom, you get some more points. So let's do a little example of what a point run would look like in terms of time. So let me just go ahead and restart that. So you use no inventory stars and you didn't die. You got the tunnel, okay? You got the Jesus clip, which is worth three points, huge, okay? But you got a coin ship, ouch. 
and you got a fanfare, uh, but you got 7-1 first try, and you went for 7-7 seven, seven and you got it. Then you got first place, but because you went for all of these, you didn't get under 54 minutes, but you got under 60 minutes. So you'd have an 8.5 game rate. We have a runner right now who's done two runs, so two races. It's the Haxor, and he has a he has 20 points total right now. One other thing that, that I'm doing with this is I'm keeping everyone's stats total. So we got the Haxor right here. He's got 20 total points. He's won two games. He averages 10.25 points per game. He's in the top eight. He moved to the next bracket. We got somebody like Macobra. He got eight total points, but he didn't win any games, so he is in 15th place, unfortunately. We got Louie. 16.5 points. He's won two games. He's got an average of 8.25 points per game. Pretty cool stuff. So I thought I'd share with you guys on YouTube um, some of the things that are coming up in the, the future of my YouTube. I'm going to be posting some of these races. I'm not going to spoil anything. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below how you feel about a tournament like this. Again, cash prize. First, second, third. Tournament style. They got to work for the money, man. They got to work for it. They're going to be multiple seasons. Things are going to be changing all the time. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys think this is a good idea, man. I'm really excited. Yeah, take it easy. Woo! See you later, YouTube.